97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Always. And I'll advise our opponents to also do likewise and stop the insults. I have been the most insulted. Indeed, I think my government has been the most insulted government in the history of this country. And every day you listen to the radio and personal invectives and insults are real on my person. And like I said, those things are not going to distract me. I have a job to do. Don't worry. I was given a mandate by the people of Ghana. And I'm not going to let those useless insults distract me from that mandate. Good boy. Good boy. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. If you see what your enemy will do to themselves, then you can guess what they will do to you if they get you. Good boy. The other day I received an audio recording on my WhatsApp. And I opened it and listened to it. Indeed, I felt so sad. I felt sad. I mean, no cultured person should ever do what the woman who was talking on that audio did, Auntie B or whatever her name is, insulting the former president of this country. I mean, it's unacceptable. I don't know how many of you have heard that audio recording. I heard it. I it's heard unacceptable. It. Yes. And I felt sad for President Kukwo. But then it also gave me, in we say, a regime. Because if they can insult President Kukwo like that, they ask for me, they will grind me in a photo. <laughs> on whose track record you are going to run. When you go in 2016, whose track record are you going to run on? You are going to run on President Kofor's track record. And then you can insult him, passa, 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 passa. So boy, so boy. We had a person called Goebbels. For those of you who have read this, we had a person called Goebbels. Goebbels was Hitler's propaganda man. And Goebbels propounded a theory that if you take a statement, whether it's false or it's misleading, and you repeat it every day often enough, eventually the people will come to accept it as true. And so I noticed a very Goebbelian attitude and pronouncement in the MPP. They told all their communicators, anytime you mention Mahama or NDC, say incompetent. I say here about me and go say incompetent Mahama and say incompetent. You've never held any responsibility anywhere near presidency before. You don't know what it is like to be president.
that come 7th November 2016, the people of Ghana will judge my competence and they will give me a second term in office.